I blessed the rain down in Africa. Where the fuck are we? Alright, so we're back on track. I think. Open up the map. What the There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? Is it? It's outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's 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 madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. Yeah, that's what it is. So that means I must be going the right way. Good job, Henry. Up, man. So he was up here. Come on, Henry, climb them rocks, son. What they did with the introduction in this game is smart. They make you choose his backstory. So you choose the way you would handle those situations to make yourself more relatable to the character. I like that, smart. See, I appreciate those little things that make the experience like, like, not more in depth. That's the word I'm looking for. More relatable. That's not the word I'm looking for either, but like so you can get lost in the trail close sign, yeah no shit. Fuck, look at that dude's cut off and shit. What a fucking idiot, Henry. What is this? Why is there a silhouette of a person? It's an outhouse. I don't think there's any fictional character I hate more than Forrest Burn. Henry, as an employee of the Forest Service, that is treason. Yeah, well, he really freaked me out as a kid. He inspired me to spend the bulk of my 30s keeping the wilderness safe. <laughs> a shrink would have a field day with you. Uh, thanks, Mom. <laughs> what kind of name is Forrest Burns, anyway? Well, that would be a pun, Hank. A glorious pun. I went to junior high with a guy named Royal Butts. Royal? Butts. Royal's mom, Flo, was a bit of a... Flo? Flo, but? Oh, man, that's even worse. Yeah, well, it's still better than Forrest Burns. So this generator is all the power I've got out here. Yep, it doesn't go through much gas, and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so... What about my hairdryer? I could never. It's a baseball. Um, so it's uh, just the outhouse then, in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one at least. Uh. And, uh, <laughs> I feel like I can smell it. Oh, let's get away from there. Alright. Uh, what can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground outside of my tower. You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell? You should get inside. Fuck me.
Dude, what the fuck, man? Someone broke in. They what? They just they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the forest service know what happened. I'm gonna have to fix the window. Tomorrow, Henry. Fast. Yeah, well, do you have any idea who could have done this? The guy in the canyon? Maybe that guy I saw in the canyon, but I don't know why the fuck he'd want to mess with my stuff. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a man hiking on his own and question him if they find him. Uh, I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some deranged hiker going after lookouts? Service weapons cache, and I'll feel safer than the Pope in his little car. <laughs> yeah, uh, someone made the choice years ago that leaving people with infinite amounts of alone time and a gun was kind of a bad idea. Grenades? <laughs> First day on the job and someone really wants to wreck my shit. Goddamn shame. Fucking savages in Colorado or where the fuck we're in. <laughs> yeah, Henry, you drink that coffee. Oh, I got the whiskey. I'm up, man. I don't remember how to fucking get to that cave, man. Alright, so I follow this trail. No, in the right direction. Right. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sweet. Dialogue. From McDonald's. Jump, man, jump, man. I'm very bad with directions, by the way, just letting you guys know. So, games like this, but you're like, just turn fucking left, it's right there. Yeah, I won't be able to remember things like that. I think it makes. I think. It's making you think it's one of those girls with a creepy dude. Oh, I went the fucking wrong way. Son of a bitch. See what I mean? Never eat. Fuck. Alright. Told you I was bad with direction. Son of a whore. Alright. What the fuck is 
is this? It's creepy. That's what that is. Can't get up there. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful... I don't know, I don't know where I'm going with that. So I'm going north, that's where I need to go. I was going in the wrong direction from Jump Street. Alright. We're going... Fuck, I should remember because we went to the fucking outhouse. So stupid. Thunder Canyon. Alright, so we follow this trail, should take us straight back to the cave. Dogs that I call my friend. Come on, Henry. Don't roll an ankle, please. God damn. You wake up pretty early then, huh? Oh, it's her. I'm a fucking beast, alright, Delilah? So that's her tower, that's pretty dope. Can you see the communication wires from where you are? I can see the poles, but I have no idea if the wire's in good shape or not. They run a good distance up to a spot called Beartooth Point. You just need to walk along them all the way up there and make sure everything's in ship shape. Ship ship. Ship ship. Alright, so we are near the cave. We are near the cave! What the fuck's the cave? Almost there. Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. It warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Just spend a lot of time with Julia. Oh, so you have someone there. Well, but you're taking a little break, or we're. <sighs> Look, I'm sorry. Can you hold that thought? Uh, sure. I'm just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although. Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Well, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Oh, sorry, Hank. No, no. No. Oh. So she has to go to that bed to the point shit, didn't she? Oh, stop doing that. Stop doing that. Fucking fuck man. So I have to go north. This way. This way. Get mauled by a bear and shit. Wait, are those dots where I'm sp supposed to going or what? Let's go north, see where it takes us. Oh, there they are. I knew where I was going the whole time. Never doubted it. Oh. Oh. 
Yeah, so as I was saying, I didn't realize the lineup of games turned to a conversation it's like 20 minutes ago. The lineup of games coming out this year it actually looks pretty decent. Now, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. Yeah, Adam. Yeah. Now, those games being good, on the other hand, that's a different story, but so far they look good. So, who knows? Hopefully. So, we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out, but I'd rather it not come to that. Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Whoa, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but, you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. I mean, I'm in the right area? Yeah, the wire runs quite a ways north. Just follow it up to the point that I mentioned. Lila's Tower. I bet she can't even reach her. Damn shame. I would dip out of the lap. Just to sip some champagne with a bad bitch. We ain't give a fuck if I ain't half shit. So follow. The yellow brick wires. What is that? Come on, man. Sprint. Nice. Information down, another note. So who are these guys, Ron and Dave? They're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance one of them was that guy I saw in the canyon? You know, the guy with the flashlight? No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know them that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting loaded. It's somehow comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. Nice. Hey yo, I got your note about needing to talk and sorry I didn't track you down, been looking for all day, figured you'd be out near the camp helping those grad students, but I guess not. I don't even know how I could really love anyone being my co-workers, you know? Amigos, professionals. If you need someone to throw a case back with and go time traveling, Ron's your guy, but I'm not great with life. If you get it, later, Ron. Anything in here? Let's throw shit on the ground. What? Okay. There's bad things in here. Ah. So much of a supply cache. Cache. Hey, it's a turtle. Whoa, I, uh, I found a turtle. Maybe it's a, a tortoise. It's a thing with a shell. Well, isn't that something? It's actually pretty cute. Well, Henry, if you decide you want it to keep you company, nobody will mind. Now, what do I call it? Looks like a... Uh, Turt Reynolds. Turt Reynolds. <laughs> <laughs> well, now I can't wait to see him. <laughs> the mustache is impressive. You tell him I love Cannonball Run. <laughs> Turt Reynolds. Ah. Oh shit, that was fucking funny. <laughs>
Alright. Back into ranging mode. What the hell is that? Be a can. Oh, yep. Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before. Yep. These fucking kids. How could these girls be so stupid? <sighs> Trust me. Never underestimate the stupidity of a drunk teenager. Also, I never underestimate the falls of a drunk young woman, having been one. Well, I hopped down a drop and now I can't climb back up. Mm, that is a pickle. I could just keep hiking, but I figured I should let you know in case I get myself trapped out here. Mm, how adventurous of you. I've been doing a lot more climbing out here than I expected. Well, keep your radio charged. I'd hate to one day find a skeleton with an orange backpack at the bottom of a ravine. Thanks, Delilah. I like your can-do attitude. Can I like... Those are big ass panties, bro. Oh, they're granny panties. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. That's actually good to hear. I can send someone out to fix it. Good find. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wing. It looks like it was tied deliberately. Oh, nice. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Oh, let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheep. Big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. So just take all the beer cans. How many beers do these people drink, man? Jeez. Follow the breadcrumbs. Hansel and Gretel. Is that Hansel and Gretel? I think so. So she said to go back around to my thing. I don't know if I should drop here. Do I see anything? Any beer cans down here? Fuck it. YOLO. YOLO swag, YOLO. We're gonna find these girls. Oh, something there. A backpack? There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always go for it for supplies. Oh, nice. Brian Goodwin. What do you got, Brian? 
camera. More rope. Well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's, there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, we only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Oh, huh. wow. Do you know him? fella you had a thing with? Mm, yeah, it was so hot and heavy. Of course, Brian Goodwin was 12 years old, so I know our love could never really be understood. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm kidding. Not about him being an actual 12-year-old. That part's true. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? Is Ned that guy from the note I told you about? About the guy leaving his post? Oh, uh, could be, yeah. But I think at one point they just realized this job wasn't for them. For Brian, at least. Huh. Anyway, so it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a photodome employee. I don't know, I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? One, two, three, four. Copy information. Dave, guess he's going out with Debbie next week. No, not that shit. Heal Steve. It's your man, Ron. I went up to check out the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself more than usual for aloes. So I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock having a having himself in that hammock? I'm starting to think that the Forest Service only picks the deranged and perverted. Except for us, of course. We're the cream de la creme. Let's toast to Deb at the spot, Ron. Be able to throw shit. Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. And maybe they're leaving me an entire creature piece by piece. So nothing here. What's down here? Anything? 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 Why is it fenced off? Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain link fence? A chain link fence? Yeah, it looks like it surrounds a huge area. Do you think those girls could be behind this fence? Mm, well, having once been an ornery young woman, the last thing I would do is climb a fence. Especially if I knew I was in trouble. Yeah, I, I don't even know how I would get in. It's really strange that that's out there, by the way. Yeah, it's weird. Where am I going, bro? Where am I going? Where am I going? Heading south. Huh? Hank. Henry. Whatever the fuck your name is. Climb over a little fucking tree that's falling down, please. 
this burned section of forest, I have no idea where to go. Their trail is pretty cold at this point. Hmm, you're out by Mule Point. No one would camp out in the fireweed. Well, I want you to stay out there as a favor to little old me. My pleasure. <sighs> okay, we know these young women are sloppy. They must have left some sort of trail. What the fuck did they leave though? 